The next type you get is something called non-linear tomography. Now, do any of you have cone beam CTs at work? No. no? I've had one. Then. You've had one? Yep. So some X-ray units, what you'll notice is, uh, particularly when you're replacing your OPG units at work nowadays, they have a 2D or a 3D function. And the big difference is, with a 3D function, it changes the movements. So you've seen this nice linear movement. When we start moving to cone beams, cone beams actually use a, a mixture of all these movements. So you can see that thing called elliptical, sometimes referred to also as a circular movement. Um, so mainly what you're going to find is they use all of these movements to take an X-ray. And so what that means is the receptors and the X-ray tubes are moving in all sorts of different directions to get a 3D image of the person. Okay, so just remember that if you're using nonlinear tomography, it's going to take a lot more time to do those movements. So your exposure time at least doubles as you're taking the film. Okay, so all we're worrying about tonight is a linear. Let's leave it at that for cone beam. How's that sound? <laughs>